Kelly earned her cyber certificate last month and is excited to begin working for Air Inc. at one of their airport operations centers, which is responsible for monitoring various technical systems and troubleshooting and repairing equipment as needed for a variety of airport services. She is training to be an operations technician as a member of the operations team. Kelly's team monitors communication systems at airports around the world to make sure that the airlines, the Federal Aviation Administration, the air traffic controllers, and the planes waiting to take off and land on the runways can all communicate with each other. After her first week, Kelly is very excited about how dynamic and important the job is, and she is looking forward to learning as much as she can. Her team dealt with several emergencies, including a breakdown in ground station equipment and a major power outage. She saw firsthand how critical communication was for the team. Due to a breakdown in the communication systems, several flights were canceled at one Midwest airport and numerous others were delayed at others due to a ripple effect. Many passengers, whose flights were delayed, missed connecting flights and had to be rescheduled. The airlines affected lost both money and the goodwill of their passengers. Kelly saw how important it was for team members to act quickly and communicate with each other. She wondered if she could develop the critical thinking, timely action, and effective workplace communication skills that she would need. She could see there was a lot to learn about company procedure and how to communicate effectively with customers, co-workers, and her manager during the changing conditions of emergency situations, and that mistakes would be costly for everyone. After several days of on-the-job training, Kelly is ready to begin working as a full-fledged team member. Her manager, Tom, assigns a senior member of the team, Raphael, to help her get up to speed. Join Kelly now as she prepares for a successful career with Eric.